You're watching ESPN's Feast Week presented by Lowe's. Welcome to the ESPN Events Invitational. We are at Disney World as the college basketball season continues to crank on through this Thanksgiving holiday week. We are glad you're with us for a consolation game between the VCU Rams out of the Atlantic 10 Conference and the Boise State Broncos from the Mountain West. Hey, and you would think a team like this that plays one guy under 6'5", and Max Shoka, the point guard, 6'5". I wish my sister would have played. <laughs> she wants to be a girly girl. <laughs> oh, poor shooting the basketball, only 17% on the year. That's what's cost him his starting spot for now. Five to shoot. Oh. And a chance for four. The foul on the three-point shot. Nailed by Chibuzo Abo. On the three-point line, the senior from San Diego completes the four-point play. Jason Nelson, here is Nelson in the corner for three. Just off the bench, she comes out firing. Shaga looking to work on Anderson. Oh. Uses the left hand with great effect. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm just talking. I don't know about all that. He knew you. He watched you. He's <laughs> I, from, I don't know about all that. Man. He's from the Woodlands oh in Texas. Gosh. And there is that elevation, the vertical we've been talking about for two days from Toby Lawal. He's got two. Both Bobby and Danny Hurley, Fran McCaffrey. Oh. Jawan Howard also, of course, has coached his two-time coach of the year in the Mountain West. And oh, by the way, turns 60 tomorrow. So happy birthday to Leon Rice tomorrow. Andrew Meadow age and some of the references that you don't know from back in the day uh -oh. is he oh lines it up goodness. again. Do you know who the Hanson brothers are? <laughs> Do you know the movie Slapshot? <laughs> the Hanson brothers. And apparently his coach, Leon Rice, has told him about it. And like you, it's from years ago. He doesn't know what he's talking about either. But for those of Dagenhart, nice yes. up fake. Got that, both defenders in the air. That's what you do. You get to the rim. As the story goes, my brothers Paul and Jim and I all were allowed to go into the gift shop and get one thing in that red shirt. With Jace Whiting with the basketball. Here goes Martin. Ooh. You think he's always aware of the fact that VCU defenders are lurking? The early fouls. Shulga. Strong to the basket and a chance for three. Here is Shulga. Averaging 14 points, five assists per game. The things that makes him valuable to a team. Oh, good split. Whiting will have a chance for three. Those of you who may not have heard earlier, he has a 49 and a half inch vertical leap. Here he is. The shot from the corner. He's not just an athlete, he's a baller. Boy, that's typically not what he does. With three minutes to go in the half, VCU's lead is back up to six. Good defense by Phillips. Now he comes over to help on the drive. Not in time, though, as Dagenhart banks it in. Two, three years and understands what it takes to win. Of course. Meadows, oh, a true freshman, saying, I need some more playing time. Abo penetrates, banks it in, and yes, Boise State is on top 28-27, its first lead of the night. That's John Beeline recruited Michigan, he turns it over. Jace Whiting puts Boise State on top, 32-29. State in some trouble here. Taken away by the Rams. Shoga right to the rim. And he lays it in. A little bit of over dribbling right there from this one guy. It has to be a collective team unit. And right it? now, Whiting is the guy right now who is attacking pressure starting in this second half. He did a little bit in the fifth, sixth, seventh grade, one or two. I don't know. It's a long time ago. You know, really not that, that long. Not that long ago. <laughs> oh, man. Up above the rim, as we would expect from him, Toby Lawal. Boise State with the ball and a one-point lead. Max Rice down the lane. Little finger roll. That's a good sight to see me playing healthy and pain-free. Back for a sixth year playing for his dad. How about the wall again? He's got a chance for three. To go on a shot because it's extremely slow. He gets it up with a really slow release. And this right here, that's, that's just beautiful basketball. That is beautiful basketball. Max Rice keeps. 
turns. Nicely done. I call that the Max Rice special. Shulga, much better looking shot that time in the lane. Had the shoulders square and got the nice bounce. 16 points to lead the Rams, who are back within three. Stanley, strong to the hoop, and he lays it off the glass for two. For I want you to slap it out of my hand. As long as you don't grab it out, if you can slap it out and make it bounce, okay, cool. I'm going to pick up my dribble, and I'm going to leave and go right there where I left off. And oh, Max Rice. There's another Max Rice special for you. Half on the bench, and actually coming off the bench here in the second half, and all seven of his points. If asked him if both of his sons were going to play for him no matter what coming out of high school. Good answer for VCU coming out of the break to get the dunk from Kwani. You know, the, the thing is, yeah, he had to be the worst player or the best player on the team. Well, Max does the little things. He does the intangibles that help you win. Ooh. And this man right here, Ooh. Max Shoga, shooting it from almost the half-court line. The Dagan Hart has had a quiet night scoring the basketball. Max Rice driving dish to Anderson. That's a friendly rim right there. First three points for Roddy Anderson, the third. Oh, okay. okay Eight willing okay. and able to take a big shot. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Shoga with another hand in his face. Give him three more. Day two of the ESPN Events Invitational. Good bounce for VCU and a chance for a three-point play. In the right place at the right time was Michael Bell. Bench tonight. Stanley the screen, Anderson pulls oh. the trigger. Little moxie right there. There we go. Anderson, couple of punt fakes. Off the glass for two. Anderson showing us what he can do. Count it and the foul. If you're Stanley right there, you have to stay on your feet. But that is great patience by Toby Luar to get the big in the air and then jump as soon as he is coming down. That is the third foul on Stanley and number seven against the Broncos. Tyson Dagenhart splits the double team with a nice bounce pass to Stanley. And he's fouled. That's a great way when you... Three point. Shoga goes around Meta. Right to the basket for two. And, and as well as Andrew Meadow has played right there, that's not a great shot. Cam Martin playing with four fouls, and he is fouled. And to come back down by three, you just have to... See it on that out of bounds. Gets it into Jackson. Shot clock at 16. Streaking to the basket and hanging in the air is Jackson. The stop here. You have to take care of the basketball right now. They'll run and jump. BCU loves to run and jump. And right there, you cannot foul if you're Toby Luol. You can be aggressive, but you cannot foul the Washington. Out of Mount Spokane High School with the one and one. About what he's averaging at this point. Picture perfect form on a couple of free throws to make it 64 59. One minute to go. Jackson spins back to that dominant left hand, misses a little long. Bell brings it back out. Shoga down the lane, dump it off. Oh, you know how that's going to finish. Number 10 up above the rim for the slam. You probably make it a two possession game. So you have to rely on your defense to get a stop. For Boise, take care of the basketball and get the best shot possible. Anderson's got three to get it across. He does. 20 on the shot clock. Dagan Hart hands it back to the point guard, Roddy Anderson, the third. Here comes Martin to set the screen. Anderson uses it. Rice off the curl, pulls up from 14. Around and out, VCU gets the stop. Down three with 20 seconds to go. Timeout. Wilson, who will be inbounding the basketball, they get it into Jackson. 
10 seconds to go, and now they're yeah, going right to have to go for yeah, three. Right now, you have to get a three, but I don't love this right here. They leave it for Jackson to take the tough three. I it's an air ball. Right Martin has the rebound, and the foul is given. Boise State should get out of here with a win. I, I don't love that right there. Anderson just to wall up and make sure that with the shooter, Martin hit the first. And that'll do it. Boise State gets his first win of the week. 65-61 over VCU. And now a chance to catch your breath. A day off tomorrow before the third and final game for each of these teams will be played on Sunday. Three and pick them up in certain spots. We saw Dagenhart do the same thing. What a great team win from Boise, and I know Coach Rice will be extremely pleased and satisfied with this win. Yeah, great balance. Their lead scorer was Meadow with 12. He was the only double-figure scorer oh, wow. in a game that they win by the final score of 65 to 61. Thanks so much for watching us. For King McClure and our entire crew, I'm Doug Sherman. We will see you again on Sunday from Disney.